Starting over can be hard for women, whether they are mothers or single women and they've had to leave a home unexpectedly. We are lucky today I have Marianne Stark with me and she is the head of the Windsor chapter of Basketeers. Hi, how you doing? Hi, Tracy. Thanks for having me today. I thank, appreciate it. Thank you for being here. And if this is your first time joining us, my name is Tracy Martins and this is YQG in Bloom. We talk about everything that has to do with the Windsor-Essex County area, whether it be small businesses, big businesses, events, community, charity, you name it, we talk about it. Marianne, tell me about the Windsor chapter of the Basketeers. Absolutely, I can talk about that. <laughs> um, so let's take it back a bit. So there is a national organization that was started uh, 24 years ago in Toronto called Basketeers. And I've never heard about them until Jody, our mutual friend, who is also a basketeer, had told me about it. Yeah, there's probably a lot of charities. There's a lot of people out there doing great things and you don't necessarily hear about them. Mm -hmm. So I actually learned about basketeers through a colleague at work. Um, I was work I'm working in communications um, at my agency and I had to write about people who were doing charity work. And I met this person who was in the Toronto office and she did these baskets for the Toronto Basketeers. And so a few years I, I donated, I would, um, I would give money or I would purchase stuff and give it to somebody. And then I decided um, in 2019 that I would launch the Windsor chapter because there's there's 11 chapters across the province um, and uh, sorry, nine chapters across the province and two, one that's in New Brunswick mm -hmm. and then another one that's in Montreal. Now the Toronto one's no longer there. Yes, so uh, Cheryl Stoneberg was the, the lady who started it 24 years ago and she decided last year that she would retire. Uh -huh. And I suspect at some point that someone will pick it back up. I hope so. I, I, I do too. It was, I mean, when she started it uh, 24 years ago, her first year she put together 15 baskets. Mm -hmm. And by the end of her her reign over the GTA, she was doing hundreds of baskets every year. So uh, the whole idea with basketeers is we give uh, baskets that um, our basketeers make that are full of essential items for women who have been staying at a women's shelter and then are being transitioned to their own own safe home. Yeah. So and I am just yeah. going to stop you really quickly. And where they're staying here in the Windsor area is Hiatus House. We are lucky enough to have that. And that is for either women leaving an abusive situation or women with children and they house them. Now, how many people are they able to house at one time? So they have 42 beds. And that sort of is where we came up with our goal of 42 baskets every year. Um, over the course of the year, they can have 300, 400 women staying there. They normally, they stay about three months mm -hmm. and then move on. I'm not the subject matter expert on this, no. but that's, that's the information that I've picked up from, um, speaking with the staff at I hiatus house. Now during COVID, the stays were a bit longer there. Yeah. I mean, that was definitely more difficult to manage. Yeah, and people weren't moving too much. No, no. And and unfortunately, people also were not leaving their abusive situations. Exactly. And with them not leaving Hiatus House, there was nowhere for them to go, really. No, no. And and the beauty of, of the facility is is they, they you stay as long as you need to stay mm -hmm. until that they can find a, you know, a safer option. Yeah. Um, it's, it's incredible. Every person they deal with is very, it's very, the situation is unique. So they deal with it differently. Now, how many basketeers do we have here in Windsor? Well, I mean, okay. So, uh, I started the chapter in 2019 mm -hmm. and I've been, uh, working on that by myself. And over the past couple of years, I've had two people that have come on to help me last year. Um, uh, Navdeep Pabla came along and so she's helping 
and then this year uh, Jody Meek came along. Yeah. And so together we're coming up with ideas of how to reach more people and get the word out, and that was how I ended up having the opportunity to speak on your show. You were also on CKLW, and what magazines? I know there was BizX and... Yes, and so the upcoming issue of the Lakeshore Neighbors. Ah. And I mean, and they've been great. They have helped us in the past by putting... Um, they have an event section, and they mm. and we were able to contribute to that. Over the years, we've we've gotten some publicity through uh, the Windsor Star as well, CTV. So slowly, it's s- building. slowly it's building, and and it's okay because you know every time we just reach one more person, mm-hmm. it's one more basket. So when you ask me about how many basketeers we have, yes. I mean, it can it can vary. We've had people that have been with us right from the beginning. They they started donating and they they're still donating now. Oh, that's nice. It's it is wonderful. I mean, it's all about what people can and and can't do. And so, no pressure. If you can help us out, do it. We think it's a great we think it's a great charity. I mean, the 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 whole idea of being able to help a woman. Mm-hmm. And like you said, often if you give women money they will spend it on their children yes. if they have children. Mm-hmm. So this is something specifically for them. And the other piece, what I what I really love about this um, charity and how they set it up was when the baskets uh, are delivered mm-hmm. to the recipient, each basket has a note from the donor in it. And they read the note and they find out that someone cares. It's very, very personal. And then staff at Hiatus House will sit with them and they and help them write a thank you mm-hmm. back to the donor. So the it's really an experience that goes full circle. I mean, yeah. anybody can write a check and not like we would not accept checks to to put towards gift cards or to build baskets. But we really encourage people to become a basketeer and and go through the full experience of thinking about what it's like to leave your house with nothing maybe but the clothes on your back. Yeah. What it's like that first night you're home in this new apartment. Now, I'm just going to read here. Since the Windsor chapter started in 2019, there have been 197 baskets and $6,450 worth of gift cards that have been donated to Windsor's hiatus house. Now, the baskets, does it have to just be 42 a year or like... We're not going to say no if we end up with more. Oh, no, we're not going to say no. <laughs> In fact, our first year, we had over 70 baskets. Which is wonderful. And we were very, very happy and very surprised. Mm-hmm. So we set the goal because I just think it's important to have a goal. Yes. And I also think it's important that we don't put pressure on ourselves, like if we don't hit that 72 or plus every year, that it's not a success. Oh, for sure. Every time somebody makes the choice mm-hmm. to be a basketeer, and to come forward with a basket, it's a success. Yeah, it's a success. So, so today we are up to twenty-five baskets oh. that have already people have registered them on our website, which is really important. It helps me keep track because I sometimes I'm not the most organized person, and so I need all the paper, yeah. the paper trail. Um, the other thing is it helps us let hiatus house know how many to expect, so they can prepare for it. They're very limited in their storage space. So they definitely have to think about where the baskets are going to go because they they don't give them out just at Christmas. Mm-hmm. This is not a Christmas charity. This is a year round. They get Yeah, we take in the basket once a year. And this year it is the uh, last Saturday in November. Okay. And uh, the great folks at the Safety Village, they let us have some space there on the Saturday morning and people can come and drop off the baskets, and we welcome them in with coffee and some refreshments and get to know them. And then they can look at the baskets and and see, you know, what other people's ideas were. I mean, we've we had a couple women for a few years that were, they'd always include a handmade quilt. Oh, that's nice. I mean, it was lovely. And and people have very different ideas of what they want, and, mm-hmm. and that's wonderful. On our website, we do provide some suggestions if people aren't quite sure. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things we do ask is we we want new items. We don't want things that you pick up at Goodwill that may not look too great. I mean, yes. it's got to be new or in immaculate condition. I mean, these women have been in dire situations. They deserve new. 
They deserve pri- to be prideful of their home that yes. they've fought very hard to get. Yeah, and if you shop all year long, yep. like I do, I pick up all the sales. Sales. And I try to, <laughs> on my Instagram account, I try to make sure that I'm letting people know where the sales are, even like when the baskets go on sale. Mm-hmm. Now, how much do you suggest that the baskets, is there a price point? Well, okay, so last year, um, I did have a number of people that were not able to build a basket for whatever mm-hmm. reason, so they donated some money. And I made a decision that I had enough money and I prefer, I do prefer baskets over over gift cards, just because. Yes. Again, it's it's more personal, and 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 you know that that she's getting stuff for her, not necessarily using that for mm-hmm. somebody else. Exactly. So I think that's a, a big piece, and also the first night they have something. So last year prices were a little bit different. Um, I'm really noticing, you know, that everything's so much more expensive. Oh my god, it's making me insane. Last year I was able to do a full what I called the signature kitchen basket. Mm-hmm. It was for $150. And so now it's it's probably costing about $25, maybe $30 more, more. this year. And so, um, you know, again, looking looking for sales, yeah. that really helps. Um, oh, for sure. And I mean, every little bit helps. If you can't do $150, $175, even if you make up small baskets, small oh, bins, absolutely. whatever absolutely. you can for these women, they're going to appreciate anything. They absolutely. Care. And here's another great idea. If you can't do it yourself, ask somebody to come with you. Mm-hmm. I have I have book oh, clubs. Yes. I have a new um, group that just recently reached out to me. They're called The Six of Us. And so it's six women, and every month they do an act of kindness. Oh, and this, and for November, they decided that their act of kindness was going to be basketeers. So they're able to pool their money together. Um, it's a really great family thing too, when you're yeah. teaching your children about charity, to go out with your child and, and talk about it. Talk, I mean, it's a, it's a great way to talk about mm-hmm. healthy relationships yeah. and you know, they, it just lends itself to, to different conversations. Oh, for sure. Now, we have stuff here <laughs> we'll do here. We have stuff here to make a basket. If you're watching it on YouTube or Spotify, you're going to see us make a basket here and have just kind of an idea of what goes into what Marianne puts in a basket. I love that idea. I do too. I know. So I drag all my stuff from home because that's what I do. So we started off first with um, with a laundry basket. So this is this is the traditional. <laughs> Um, basket that they have used for Windsor Basketeers um, or for the whole basketeer organization. Um, they they also, you can get like those Sterilite lidded totes. They're also great as well. They stack well too for, you can get for them, hiatus and house. And you can get them at Costco for under $20. Yeah. yeah. And this is a nice little size. And this this one I picked up at Walmart for $4.97. And it's not bad. It's, you know, I mean, Unfortunately, the Rubbermaids aren't made here anymore. So, you know, know. It, that I know. And that was a big thing for Basketeers is they, they actually had a contract with Rubbermaid and they were able to get discounted um, laundry baskets. But, oh, well, we have to, you know, just lick our wounds and move on. So <laughs> I think this one works. So we, we won't build the full thing, but, but you know, I can just kind of show you the kind of stuff that we, that we buy yeah. and that we put into it. So, and yes, I did go to Ikea because um, I love Ikea. I grew up in Toronto, and so Ikea was, I, I, I still have pieces of Ikea stuff that oh, my husband and I, I bought when too. we moved out. Yes. So it's, it's, it's a great deal. And I also shopped at, at Walmart. Walmart is one of the outlets that we use for the, the gift cards as mm-hmm. well, um, because it's just, it's, you know, you can find anything you need at gift card. In, I'm sorry, at Walmart with a gift card. So, oh, for sure. So, for sure. Okay, so let's talk about some of the stuff that I that I got. Um, so here we have. I love this one. I found this at Walmart, and it's a full kitchen utensil set. Yeah, I like that. I mean, that it's is... just it's just fantastic. When I build them, I try to build things on different levels. Um, I I know that like it looks like a cookie sheet, but my husband and I do so much cooking right on the cookie sheet. You, like, you can cover it with parchment and we'll roast vegetables and make soups or... Or nothing better than when you have 
pre-frozen dinners, you put them on there like a, a lasagna yeah. or whatever, and you have to put it in. Yeah. Trying to get it out in the tinfoil container without a solid bottom, forget it. I know, I know. So, so these are really versatile. So I'll just like try to tuck things in the back. <clears throat> oh, another piece. I love these. Everybody uh -huh. needs to have a glass bake, bake set, like glassware. And this is nice because, you know, if you have leftovers, you just pop a lid on mm -hmm. it. So here, let's, uh, we'll stick that underneath because that'll help weight it up. Oh. And I'm going to give everybody a hint that they have a whole line of these at those kinds of uh, the lidded uh, glass containers at Canadian Tire and in the summertime, they all, and near Christmas, they always have the deals yep. with the kitchen supplies yep. and usually at least once a month they'll go on sale for like dirt cheap and durable like crazy. Yep, yeah. I and, love them. And I mean, I'm, I'm always looking for my Canadian Tire flyer <laughs> when it comes in. Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, it's great. And, and for this, it, I mean, it, I just, I love a sale, so mm -hmm. it makes me so excited when I get a sale. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, oh, this, so this, this is fun. So, a pot, a pot from Ikea. Everybody just needs a little pot. You can have dinner. Yeah, or, uh, you know, anything, soup. You want to even just boil water for tea, you've got it. Uh, a colander. Can I see this one? Yeah, that's Ikea. Oh, Do you I know what that cost? $1.99. That's, that's what I was looking for, the price. A dollar ninety nine. I want to come with you next time you oh, go to oh, IKEA. It is so much fun. Oh. It is so much fun going to IKEA. All right. What other? Oh, okay. Cutlery. Four piece cutlery set at IKEA. I think it was ten dollars, and that was like the more expensive one. My my husband was the one who said, "Oh, go for a little bit more." So I yes. went for the little bit more. And I mean, if you can't get to IKEA. They have fabulous cutlery sets that are actually really nice and fancy and all that at Costco. Right. The, the big ones, they're under $20. And then and uh, HomeSense too? Yes. You can always find a deal at HomeSense. Always. Always. Cutting boards. Just, you know, the flexible ones are great because you can just push your stuff off into the... Uh, into, you know, once you're, you're, you've cut it, I actually did it tonight and pushed it right into the yep. fry pan. And I found everybody needs a, a knife set, and this was completely reasonable. And when we when we put them together, we try to to you know stack them up so they so look you can they see look it pretty. And, and this you know this is the newest thing. Never I didn't have oh, these yes. kinds of things growing up, but these are these absorb absorbent pads for when you do your dishes. So if it's just like one person or a couple people. It's easy to put that on your counter. Yeah, if you Doesn't don't have take a, lot up a lot of, of space. Exactly, because you don't always have space for one of those dish racks. Remember, growing up, we'd be using a million different uh, dish cloths. Yep. Packing the dish cloths. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. I found this one was a new thing that I found this year at Ikea as well. And I um, this was under $10, and it's a whole set of containers for leftovers. Mm-hmm. And they're they're small. Uh, There's really all different like sizes. Those. those are so nice. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, they are. They those are really nice. And they are microwavable and top rack dishwasher safe. I know. Which is always nice because that's hard to find with plastic containers. Absolutely. Now this guy is not gonna fit, but Again, when you put the baskets together, it takes a lot of finagling to get them really all together. Does. I'll just scooch this over. Yeah, here. and so again, IKEA set of glass glasses, six of them. Everybody needs glasses in their cupboard. Mm -hmm. This was a new thing that I found this year that I loved. It's a salad shaker. Oh my goodness! So yeah, instead of having soggy lettuce, and you could do a whole a whole bunch of other like vegetables in here. I thought that was so cool. Can I see like, that? Like so simple. Oh yeah, because then you just take the lid out of the bottom and the water just. Yeah. I have a salad spinner. Yeah, I, I do I too. Don't, I don't have a salad shaker. And they're huge. <laughs> so again, you know, I went to Winners. Yeah. And I found really nice quality and they're pretty. And then, so we, you know, everybody needs to have Your towels. their towels and a scrub mommy, aren't they? I mean, that's oh, just yeah. so cute. I, I think. You know, bring a smile to someone's face. I cannot do dishes without rubber gloves. 
and these are latex flea, uh, free, so. Even better. Even better because some people have those kind of allergies. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, uh, everybody needs to be Ooh. having some sort of pan for also, cooking. Also, another, another thing to look at on sales in your flyer for oh. Canadian Tire, their kitchen. Absolutely, they always are always. putting that on. Some fun little, I got these at Costco in a giant pack. I heard about so those. Yeah, so they're the Swedish dish claws and they're fantastic. They last, I mean, they don't last forever, ever, but they last a lot longer than yeah, J-claws right. yeah. or, or paper towels. Or the sponges. Plates. Very nice. Again, Ikea, I think they were 99 cents. Bowls. So I'm not necessarily buying something for a family of, you know, eight. No. Uh, we often tend to do things like around four. Right. And then it's it's just, it's enough to get started. Um, oh, and I then I had, uh, you know, you have to have that to go with with your, your set of cutlery. I Although that one could probably go with this bit in there. Oh no, this is just a whole other. Yeah. You know what I liked it about this is that will organize that utensil drawer. I know. That everything. You needs. always need to be organized. Always has that uh, little handle that jams when you open it. Yep. That's I know. Awesome. It's a, it's a, I, when I saw that last year, I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I got a little carpet at Ikea. I've had these for years and it's just nice to have a carpet in front of the sink. I know. Right? Because I'm I don't when I when I wash dishes, water's flying. You know, these are the things that you may not think about. But we all need parchment, stretch and seal, aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. foil. Like a little dust a little dust bin. And so the one thing I want to show, which I really I really like, and I've just I've got them I've got them so I got a couple I got a couple of mugs. Again, I found them at Home Sense. Two beautiful just like, I love a big cup of coffee or a big tea or a big hot chocolate. And what I did was to make, to make the basket a little just nicer, right? Mm -hmm. So I've, I've bought this bag that says, you're amazing, which I think we have to remind them, they're amazing. What they did was really hard. It's really hard courageous to leave an abusive relationship. Extremely. Because during it, I mean, chances are your whole self-esteem is, so to believe that you're good enough to, to leave, that yeah. is hard. It's yeah. so hard. And I'm gonna say quite honestly, if you haven't been in an abusive relationship, you don't understand. It, we're not just talking physical abuse, the emotional abuse, is sometimes worse. So it, it honestly is sometimes worse. And yes, I'm going to stutter and I'm going to stammer and probably tear up. I've been there. And I was lucky enough to have a good support system. But even having that good support system, you have to be able to build yourself back up to have that courage to realize that you deserve this. And... This is just fabulous. It's it, it. I think this will warm any woman's heart. And then there could be a. You could do a bathroom one. You could yes, do a yes. bedroom one. Yes, uh, or a personal one. Yes. I mean, Anything. you don't. We give ideas of what, but it's wonderful. But if it's coming from your heart and it's what you feel they would want and it's mm -hmm. what you want to give them, I mean, it's it's your oh. choice. Oh yes, what's in there? Sorry. Oh, it's just no, 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 no. I I had the mugs and I thought I want to do something for it. Now we don't. We don't like food, but I I was able to pick up um, a can of Tim Hortons hot chocolate, and you'll see that it's sealed, so that everybody loves the hot chocolate. Oh, and with that big mug, it's yeah. perfect. And then this is my favorite. I am a big tea herbal tea, and this is peppermint, creamy peppermint. Um, sorry, peppermint and creamy vanilla, and it is to die for. And I, I love it. So I wanted to put one of my favorite things in here as well. And then I will be writing a note to the recipient. I don't know who she's going to be, but I want to let her know that we're doing this because she, she matters, that we, we care about her mm -hmm. and we're rooting for her and that we believe in her and we're proud of her for the steps that she's taking. So that note will go in there and I'll put pretty paper in there and that will go in the top of the basket. 
And, um, and then I have, I just have, we have cellophane, we have rolls of cellophane, and then we decorate it with fancy bows. So we just try to make it beautiful because it's, it's really nice. And I have a friend that does, makes baskets, corporate baskets. And last year she taught me how to make the cellophane durable. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I go through a ton of, of, um, packing tape, but oh, yeah. we, we tape it up really sturdy and then we decorate it with, with all of these things. And, and then importantly, we take uh, inventory of everything that's in there and we print out a list and I actually, I printed out a list right here. And then that is what I would put on the outside of the basket. And that helps the staff at Hiatus House know what contents would be good for certain people. Honestly, not everybody's running out with just the clothes on their back. Sometimes people are able to grab a few things, so yep. they may not have grabbed their kitchen stuff or yep. whatever. Yeah. But they they do need to know that they are deserving and they are loved and we admire them and mm. they are our heroes. Absolutely. So when is that date again? All I'm right. going to put it in the description, but just so you can hear it. Okay. It is uh, Saturday, November 30th. It's at the Safety Village. Okay. And we're there from 9.30 until 12 noon. Okay. And staff from the Hi uh, from Hiatus House, including the executive director, uh, Sylvie mm -hmm. uh, Guntier, she will be there. And so if you have questions about Hiatus House and what they do. And they're, they have a lot of campaigning going on right now. Yeah. They, they've purchased some land. They're going to be putting up um, a, a new building there for housing women. They're trying to grow because unfortunately the need is growing. Yeah. And we'll be there just greeting people and talking to them and asking them how the experience was for them. The first year we did it in 2019, was amazing. We had, I had so many people coming up to me and, and they were very emotional. It meant a lot to them. There were, there were a lot of tears when they mm -hmm. talked about why they did this and what the experience was like putting together the basket. Oh yeah. And then COVID hit and everything got a little complicated. Mm -hmm. And so we're still trying to dig ourselves out of that. And I think this is a really great opportunity because for me now, it's about getting the word out there. Mm -hmm. It's not about expecting every single person that I meet and that they're going to say, oh yes, I'll do a basket. It's just about getting the word out so somebody does. Yes. So we get, so, cause I, I know, you know, we're, we're all just trying our best. Yeah, we, I, we are and we understand the struggle's real. It's real for all of us. So get a group of friends together, even if you guys put in Twenty dollars each, and oh, yeah. even with twenty dollars each for people, your eighty dollars, you can still make a good basket, a great basket, something that's going to make somebody happy. And make sure to follow Windsor Basketeers on social media. Yep, we're on Facebook, we're on uh, Instagram. And what is your handle? Is it Windsor, Windsor Basketeers? Windsor Basketeers. It's okay. super easy, thank goodness. And then. Um, basketeers.org, you can go to that website okay. and then it has chapters, all the chapters are listed. And mm -hmm. so there's information of how to, to contact me through an email. There's information about um, interacting funds, if that's something that somebody wants to do. Um, and then lots of ideas about what to put in a basket. Again, if you are a woman and you are struggling, make sure to contact Hiatus House mm. and they will definitely help you out as best as they can. And just know that we are all there for you. And this is a wonderful, wonderful charity. I, I'm so glad that Jody contacted me because this is, this is one that is uh, near and dear to my heart. And yeah. I really hope that we get as many baskets as what we can even if we need a storage unit to put them all in, <laughs> yeah. what the heck? Yeah, it's um, you know, it's a it's a way that we can bring some joy for sure to somebody, and that's sure. that's priceless. And nothing better than leaving a place like Hiatus House and having all of this to help start 
start your journey. Yeah, it's a feel good. It's a feel good charity, and I'm really um, I'm honored that I'm able to to lead it, and I'm thrilled that I have a couple helpers that have come <laughs> on and generated some energy. Oh yes, right. I oh, mean, Jody's it, passionate it's, about it. It's, <laughs> it's not always fun doing yeah. everything by yourself, and yeah. just having someone who you can say, "We got 25 baskets," and then you get an email back going. Yeah, one day at a time, one mm-hmm. basket at a time. And that's all it's about. Mm-hmm. I keep saying hiatus house, but we do have a lot of other chapters, uh, organizations that will help women out. And I'm going to make sure that I also have them in my description because if you are in need, whether it's hiatus house or wherever, make sure you you get there Mm -hmm. and I I can't stress that enough and Marianne I want to thank you so much for being here today and introducing us to Windsor Basketeers and showing us everything that's in one basket and do you actually happen to have a roundabout idea of how much this basket cost you oh I think this one is probably around 200 um, that my, is a lot of stuff for yeah. two hundred dollars, yeah. including tax. Yeah, including Infl- tax, inflation. Yep. But yep. you know what? It's well worth it. Yeah, I'm. I'm really happy with it, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Oh, and I'm. You know, I, I'm really grateful that I can. Yeah. And that's the thing is, right now I'm in a position where I can, mm-hmm. and I want to, and I'm. I'm happy to do it. Well, I'm happy you're doing it, and thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Tracy. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. And again, my name is Tracy Martins. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of YQG and Bloom. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so that I can keep this podcast going for free so I can keep introducing you to new charities, new businesses, new events, new people, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye.